Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I'm excited about today's video because I'm going to be sharing with you a really yummy Christmas treat. Now today's video is part of an open collab hosted by Fallon from Moss Family TV and it's just an open Christmas food collab. So make sure to check out her channel along with a playlist that I'm going to have linked down in the description box below if you want to check out some more Christmas food ideas. Now I have some really yummy Christmas treats, a lot of no-bake um, videos that I've already done in previous years and even earlier, I think this year, honestly, it's all kind of a blur, but I'll make sure to have some other videos linked in my description box below if you're looking for some more, but I definitely had some that I wanted to give a try this year. So that's what we're going to do now. Let's get started. All right. So to get started, I have two sticks of unsalted butter. I had them out to be at room temperature for the last like two or three hours but my countertops are so cold that they weren't that softened. So I just popped it in the microwave at a low temp, although you can see it's clearly pretty well melted. And we're gonna add a cup each of brown sugar, whoops, and white sugar, and cream those together. If you are new here, I would love it if you would consider subscribing to my channel. I do share a lot of recipes. I also share just like other like lifestyle content, some grocery hauls, some vlogs here and there. Um, just that kind of a thing. We are gonna make sure my cup of brown sugar is a packed cup of brown sugar, just to make sure you get in what you need, but that seemed about right. Let's mix that together. All right, so now we're going to add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I make my own vanilla extract, so I just have some here in this jar. We're also gonna add in two large eggs and then the recipe calls for a half a teaspoon of peppermint extract. Now I always use peppermint essential oil because I prefer that and I have um, one that is safe to consume. So that is what I'm using, but obviously, you know, either one works. Now we're gonna mix this together. I'm also gonna scrape the edges and make sure we get everything fully combined. Moving on to a separate bowl, we are going to mix together our dry ingredients. I'm going to use my little mesh strainer as a sifter here. The recipe does not say to do that, but I always like to sift my ingredients just to make sure. And I'm going to do two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Now we're adding in three quarters of a cup of cocoa powder. I'm realizing some ingredients that I'm running low on that I'm going to need to put on my shopping list. Now we're gonna add in a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna do a little less than that, um, just because I use the pink Himalayan sea salt and I feel like it's a little bit stronger. And then one teaspoon of baking soda. This is a half teaspoon here. And I'm just gonna sift this all together. All right, now we're just gonna gradually add in the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients until it's all mixed together. Gonna move to a spatula or a, a spoon. Sometimes I just, I mean, maybe I had a kitchen, like a stand mixer, but sometimes I just think an old fashioned way works a little better. And it's starting to get thicker, so. We're just gonna do it this way. Man, I'm doing it a little bit messy, but that's okay. That's what happens in the kitchen, right? All right, we're gonna pause on that for just a second. We're gonna crush up some candy canes now. The recipe here calls for some chocolate chips, which I do have. One cup of chopped peppermint bark, says about 10 to 12 Ghirardelli peppermint bark squares. I do not have that, and I wish I did, because that sounds really good. <laughs> but I just wanted to make these with what I had on hand, so I'm gonna just mix in the chocolate chip, and then you're supposed to um, top the cookies with, it says a third cup of crushed peppermint candies, like the round ones. I'm just gonna use some candy canes. I actually do have some of those round ones, but I originally thought they meant candy canes and that's what I pulled out. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I have some of these chocolate mint ones as well. So um, I'm going to actually, maybe I'll, yeah, I'll do a combination of those. I'm just gonna crush up, I don't know, six of them. We're just gonna go with that. Um, so I'm gonna crush these up, gonna stick them in a um, freezer bag, just cause that's a little thicker. <laughs> and then I'm gonna pound them with a mallet and um, then I'll be back and we're gonna finish up these cookies. Does anyone else hate unwrapping candy canes? Like, why is it so hard? 
I'm gonna start with four of them because hopefully that's enough. If not, I'll do more. And lay a towel down so we don't smash my countertop. All right, back to the cookies. I've got about a cup, I'm not really measuring, of uh, chocolate chips. And then you would also add in your peppermint bark pieces as well if you have that. It's definitely a pretty thick dough. We're just gonna fold this in. It's probably be easier with a wooden spoon than a spatula, but that's okay. All right, so it says to scoop about two inch, um, two tablespoons, sorry. I think this is probably the one inch, but the only one I have is a three inch. So I'm just gonna do a, a full one of these. That way it's a little bit more. And then we're going to, wow, that seems huge. I think that's right though. Okay. And then it just says to dip the top into the crushed candy. It says to try not to get it on the sides or the bottom because it can make a mess when it bakes. I don't know. And then I'm just laying mine onto a book, uh, booking, <laughs> a cookie, lined cookie sheet. I have just a uh, silicone mat on it or you can use parchment paper. So I'm just gonna do up these. These seem really big, but we'll see. Maybe this is correct. Nothing wrong with a big cookie though, you know? Realizing my mess on the counter behind me, my dishwasher is open. It's cause I'm trying to clean up as I go. Box of some stuff that I ordered that I need to put away. But you know, my house is not picture perfect. And if I had to wait for it to be, I would never film. I cannot get over how big these cookies look, but. I think I'm gonna have to space these suckers a little bit further apart until I see how they come out because those just seem large. All right, here they are. I've got my oven preheated to 350. We're gonna put these oven in the oven for 10 to 11 minutes. I always go with the lesser, you know, and we will come back. I, whoops, I don't know what I just did. I'm gonna see how much of this kitchen I can get cleaned up while those are going. It's not too bad, but it needs to be cleaned up. All right, so it has been 10 minutes and they're not, they're a little bit puffier than I thought they would be, but um, the rest or the directions do say to let them rest on the cookie sheet for a couple minutes before moving them to a wire rack to cool. So I'm wondering if they will like deflate. So I'll be back in a second. All right, so they kind of deflated a little bit. Um, I think they're done. I was a little concerned because they're so thick. Like, did they actually get cooked all the way through? Um, but we're gonna take these, move them to a cooling rack. I'm actually gonna wait to do the rest until these cool for just a few so that I can make sure that they um, cooked all the way through or do I need to make them smaller? Sorry, the camera works. Not super great at the moment because I'm holding the camera, but actually paying more attention to the cookies than the camera. So let's give these a second to cool, just to make sure I love the size of them. I like how big they look, but I just wanna make sure that they're um, cooking all the way through before I do more. All right, before we go any further, I mean, I think they look pretty good. So they're still a little warm inside, <laughs> but, I don't think you can really see that very well, but they're definitely cooked. They're definitely amazing. They're falling apart. I mean, because like I said, they're still warm, but um, the only thing better than chocolate is chocolate with peppermint, in my opinion. So I'm going to put this in my mouth before I drop it all over the counter. Y'all, I can't even begin to tell you how good those are. I love a traditional sugar cookie, but I can pass on those. They're not like my favorite. Thing in the world. I like a lot of no bakes at Christmas time. Cookie wise, this is right up my alley. And it was totally worth the mess it made eating it while it was still warm. But I'm gonna go ahead and make up the rest of the cookies. Okay, well, that is gonna do it for today's video. Just keeping it simple with just a little recipe. I hope that you give these a try. If you do, let me know. Let me know what you think about them. That's really loud. I don't know if you could hear that. It sounded like crickets or something, but I think it was coming from the TV. Anyways, uh, let me know if you enjoy them. If you give them a try, they're really, really good. I will definitely be putting this in my, you know, list of ones to make again in the future. 
And don't forget to, to check out Fallon's channel. Thank you, Fallon, for hosting this challenge. And also don't forget to check out the playlist, which will be linked down below to get all sorts of Christmas goodie ideas. And if you're new, once again, I hope that you consider subscribing before you leave. I love sharing stuff with you, including recipes. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time.